Interior's IG said in her report on integrated professional solutions that the Guam CNMI U.S. attorney had declined to investigate IPS's $392,000 contract to manage Recovery Act funds. Then, a few days later, the U.S. Attorney's Office in Guam told Pacific News Center it could not comment on the IG's findings since it was still reviewing the matter. Now, a Department of Justice source here confirms that there is an ongoing review of the awarding of the contract by Governor Fidial to former Commerce Secretary and NMI era czar Michael Adda's company. The review may not imply a formal investigation is underway. The Justice Department does not comment publicly on ongoing probes, but it seems to contradict claims by NMI Attorney General Ed Buckingham and IPS that the feds have already concluded that no federal laws were broken. Top agencies awarding over $100 million in ERA or Recovery Act funds to the Northern Marianas refused comment on key questions or did not return repeated phone calls about the IPS case, a sign at least of the issue's sensitivity, if not a Justice Department review. Recovery Board spokesman Ed Pound, whose agency has ERA oversight authority, also begged off, but he did provide general comments. I'm not involved in the specifics of this case. What I'm telling you is a general rule that cases can't, you know, justice can be brought in on a case, you know, um, you know, by by an IG. A spokeswoman for the Energy Department, the second largest grantor of ERA funds to the Commonwealth, said IPS is not a grantee of ERA money. So Nikita Kumar said DOE ERA funding to the NMI would continue. The department has awarded the Commonwealth more than $29 million. But when asked about ERA funds going to IPS's $392,000 contract, Kumar said she'd have nothing further to say on the matter. The Education Department, which has awarded the NMI close to half of its $120 million in ERA grants and loans, did not return several phone calls. On Capitol Hill, Matt Kay for PNC News.